So I thought that for today's episode, I, I just wanted to get straight into it. No fancy intros, no recaps. Just get straight into the action. We did kind of see a little bit of uh, out to ear on the last episode. And Mia cara, the strings of fate have drawn us together. Two Italiani, lost and alone in the Orient. Do you not feel the magnetismo? I feel many things, Messere. Nausea above all. <laughs> Is this man bothering you, Sophia? Excuse me, Messere, but the lady and I are... Oh! Oh! Il diavolo in persona! Stay back! Duccio, a pleasure. Run, buona donna! Run for your life! Who was that? Un cane. He was engaged to my sister many years ago. Oh! And what happened? His cazzo was engaged to six others. Chiedovenia. So what brings you to these docks? I didn't recognize them. I took a break from my work to retrieve a package. But here they claim the captain's papers are not in order. So I wait. Che seccatura. I could be here all day. Let me see what I can do. I know a few ways to bend the rules. Do you now? See, si. I will meet you back at your shop. How, how do you get all the way over here? That's what I don't I don't understand. How I didn't rec I, I really didn't recognize him. Oh my god. <laughs> and well, I guess that's that's the proper introduction we needed to this episode, right? No introduction needed. Well, they just gave us one. It looks like uh we're building some sort of relationship with our buddy old pal here. Uh, Sophia. Warning, restricted area. Alright, not a problem. <gasps> oh, come on. I was just starting to look good, man. Okay, so we have to head inside that ship. Look at that ship. It's actually pretty massive. Okay, so I can't... Wait, can I go through here? I mean, I, if I jump this way... Can I get on top of the ship through here? <gasps> oh, yes, I can. Oh, there's that. All right, we've got to be extra careful. See, this is what I'm going to be super excited about once we reach uh, Black Flag. Okay, so identify Sophia's parcel among the... I wonder if I should use a poison dart. Excuse me, Miss Eddie. Did I say that right? <laughs> yes. Oh my god, what an idiot. Sofia Sarto. Perfecto. Got it. Okay, so escape the area. Okay, well that shouldn't be too hard. Escape from the exit zone. Or the escape zone, and the minimap becomes perfect. So can I You know what? Might as well just do this. Good. Now, I don't know if it was a good idea to come through here. Hopefully, yeah. Okay, so there's an entrance way back up in there. I was starting to wonder if this is just a big old wall that I can't go over, but you've got a nice little entrance here. So now, off to uh, Sophia. No danger zone here. Everything seems to be a okay. okay. Should we climb up through here? Yes. I know I said I said this on the last episode, but I'll say it again. One thing I'm really excited about this game, or what excites me about this game, is just, you know, the big conclusion. Like, we're going to find out eventually what's going to happen with Ezio, and we're going to learn more about Altair's past and stuff like that. It just, 
shit like that gets me excited to play this game really and i know it's not very long it's it's, it's about the same will you stop doing that it's about the same length as the brotherhood but i think it's gonna be well worth it as to you know that's why i'm playing the damn game because i've been really really enjoying this series like very much and i i can honestly it, it's different dude it's it it is these are better than the recent assassin's creed games don't get me wrong valhalla was amazing in my opinion and odyssey i enjoyed odyssey a lot um maybe i would have enjoyed them more if they were a bit shorter because they did drag on a bit i didn't think valhalla was going to be longer than odyssey and it was by like i don't know a good amount so it gets to the point where you play those games for so long that it's like dude this shit needs to end already you know like it's it's too many re repetitive missions and stuff like that and within this game like there is a few repetitive missions but not a whole lot you know so i will say though one thing about those games though is that like valhalla and odyssey is that you play them for so long that when you're done playing them it feels like a part of you is missing like when i stopped playing valhalla i, I missed the game tremendously in the world because i spent 70 hours in it and same thing with odyssey you know i spent like 50 hours in that game and i'm talking too much i'm sorry Salute Ezio. Any luck? Mademigella Sofia Sartor, Libraia, Constantinopoli. Oh no, look at the damage. Did they use this to fight off pirates? Well, so far so good. Ah, beautiful, no? This is a print of a map by Martin Walse Müller. See here, the new lands. Described by Messer Amerigo Vespucci. Poor Cristoforo Colombo. History has a strange way of unfolding. What do you make of this body of water here? A new ocean, perhaps. Most of the scholars I know claim the size of the globe has been underestimated. Incredibile. The more we learn about the world, the less we seem to know. Hmm. Well, you honored your promise. Here is mine fulfilled. If we are correct, this should show you the location of the first book. I must admit, my head is swimming with the prospect of seeing these books. This is knowledge the world has lost and must have again. Perhaps I could print a few copies to distribute myself. A small run of 50 or so, that should be enough. <laughs> Forgive me. It is a joy to see someone with a passion so personal and noble. It is inspiring. Goodness, where is this coming from? <laughs> Grazie, Sofia. I will return. Okay, total gentleman, if you ask me. All right, so now we've got this other one mission over here. I'm not sure if it's another Altair memory or what it is, but it's definitely a book uh, type. Oh, it's actually right here. Ooh. Oh, it's going to be. Oh, it's going to be up in the sink point. Good. I was looking forward to sinking up anyways. I was thinking it was going to be down below. So I was going to go up here first, but. I think it's actually going to be the same as last time. Come on. Oh, crap. This thing is tall as shit. <laughs> I didn't realize how high we were going. Yeah, if we fall from here, we're pretty much screwed, pal. So you got to be careful. Hear the wind? Oh, this is freaking high. Wait, is it up here? I don't think it is. Actually, it might be, yeah. Hold on, let me sync up. This has got to be the tallest point in the entire map. Look how high this thing is. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. This is the highest point. 
Signs and Symbols Part 1. Nicolo Polo. In a book near Hagia Sophia containing clues of missing of keys locations. Use the Polo symbols to reveal it. What? Is it in there? Recover the book. I was about to jump off, I swear to God. Yeah, I'm not gonna do all that. What we will do is this. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh my God. <laughs> that is awesome. That was a pretty, pretty epic leap of faith there, pal. Once a thief, always a thief. Go up top. So it feels like in this game, they, they started kind of Pushing the whole, the, the whole ideology of like pirates within this series. I mean, I think that's the first time they speak about pirates. At least that I can remember. But up here? to Constanti Constantinople by Leo de Brand of Srem oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Actually, what the text said, not what I said, because I... Yeah. All right, let's get the heck out of here. So do we have to go back to Sofia now, or...? Woohoo! No, we're not going back to her. We're going somewhere completely different. Let's see. What do we have here? I'm going to take this. Wait, are we going up through here? Oh, we can take this little... Wait. Yeah, this is good. Oh, yes. Dude, these zip lines are so freaking cool. <laughs> so it looks like we had to come all the way back to that first big tower that we climbed at the beginning of this game with Yusuf. All right, great. I always like when we go into these like hidden tombs or you know these hidden facilities it's always fun see like stuff like this this is cool the galata tower this is the yeah that's right it was the Gala, galata tower Gala, i don't know a clue left behind from the polos has brought Etsy to the Galat Galat Galata Tower. <laughs> Investigate the tower, but be careful. But be careful? About what, man? Is this thing gonna fall apart or what? Oh, yeah, it probably is. Oh! Yep. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Okay. We like it. You 
You know how strong that hook has to be so it doesn't snatch off your hand and break? Either that or you can dislocate your wrist or something. I don't know, man. Oh, my God. It's like the entire underground section of this tower is like a whole different world. Oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> holy heck, dude. This is pretty awesome. All right, so are we jumping? Yes, we're jumping. And then we're ziplining. Oh, yes, we are. Okay, hold up, hold up. I'm sure we're supposed to go up here. Okay, then we got this. Perfect. Great skills, Ezio. You're learning. Okay, we're gonna hop off to the other side from this. Yes, there it is. Woohoo! Excellent. Okay, so then I would assume we jump onto this. And go that way. I'm surprised there's like no guards in here. Maybe this is just uncharted territory. Un unwanted or undiscovered territory. Better yet, that's the word I'm looking for. Place of ancients. Trying to wonder how deep are we really gonna go up in this shit? Look at this. Oh my god. This smells like sea exploration adventures. This is so cool. Okay, let's go up this way. But we're supposed to keep going down. I believe the marker says 77 meters below. 67 now. Maybe we keep going lower and lower. I don't know, but this is exciting, man. Let's get a break. Oh my God. And that's how we go lower. Oh. Oh, you better, you better climb that shit. What an exciting episode, guys. This is really cool. Oh, dude, thank God for this freaking hook. Okay, keep going this way. Nice. How much do you want to bet this bridge is going to fall? We're going to end up climbing it. You know what? Never mind. I've been I've been thinking about uncharted too much lately. Okay, hold on. Let's go up this way. I've actually been thinking about playing the Lost Legacy. It's the last uncharted game that we've got left to do here on the channel. And I played it a very, very long time ago when it first came out. Be nice to kind of refresh my memory and relive that. Um, go up here. Okay, here we go, dude. How far are we going? How are we even gonna get back? Like, does Ezio ever think about? Okay, we're gonna go this way, but how am I ever gonna get back? Because we're going pretty deep right now. And that's probably gonna break. Yeah. Oh, 
God, bro. We're too old for this shit. Okay, so use Eagle Sense. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Another key. It's just what we needed. Hell yeah. Two out of five. Three more to go. <sighs> Complete the level within six minutes. Oh, shoot. Wow. Gotta give myself a pat on the back for that one. One of the very few 100% sinks that we get. <laughs> of course, he always finds a way through the sewers in the middle of nowhere. Nobody says anything about it. Like, hey, look at this random old man coming out of the freaking sewers. That's totally not suspicious. I wonder if we're going to see more about Alta here now. He looks so creepy. You held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Forgive me for this, mentor. But the apple corrupted you, and through you it would have corrupted us. For us to live, you had to die. The mentors. Oh. Is it truly over? Is that sorcerer dead? He was no sorcerer, just an ordinary man in command of illusions. Have you prepared the pyre? I have, but. Altair. Some of the men will not stand for such a thing. Let me handle it. Oh, shoot. The mentor's wake. Altair has killed his mentor. Betraying the assassins. Make sure Al Muhalim is truly dead. That he and that the assassins, and the assassins understand why. Oh, dude. Are you fit to travel? Well enough, yes. I asked Malik to ride to Jerusalem with news of Al Mulim's death. Would you ride to Acre and do the same? Of course. Look at his health, dude. <laughs> Look at his fucking health. Oh, his sink, if you will. So this is really cool because this is literally after Assassin's Creed 1. My mind was clear, but my body, it would not move. Was our mentor the cause of this confusion? Do not believe. Oh, dude, this is so wicked. What has happened here? Our mentor deceived us all. The Templars corrupted him. Where is your proof? Walk with me, Abbas, and I will explain. And if I find your answers wanting, I will talk until you are satisfied. Do you remember the artifact we recovered from Robert de Salle in Solomon's temple? The artifact you were sent to retrieve, but others delivered? Yes. It is a Templar tool. The Apple of Eden. It can conjure illusions and control men's minds. A deadly weapon. And you believe Al Mualim fell under its spell? I do. Today he used the Apple to enslave Masyaf. 
You saw that for yourself. I do not know what I saw. Listen, Abbas. The apple is safe in Al Mulim's study. When I'm finished here, I will show you. Oh my god. <laughs> Burn his ass up. Altair! No! I must know that he cannot return. But this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Defiler! Hear me out. This body could be another one of Al Mulim's phantoms. I must be certain. Lies! All your life, you have made a mockery of our creed. You bend the rules to suit your whims, while belittling and humiliating those around you. Restrain him! Did you not hear him? Al Mualim is bewitched. What an asshole. What the fuck? I am a master assassin. I will disarm all of you and you will do absolutely nothing about it. What did I tell you, Altair? Abbas, stop! What did you think would happen when you murdered our beloved mentor? You loved Al Mulim less than anyone. You blamed him for all your misfortune, even your father's suicide. My father was a hero. This is not the time to quarrel over the past. We must decide what to do with that weapon. What other this artifact is capable of? You are not worthy to wield it! No man is. It is beautiful, is it not? What a freaking idiot. So he's up in that tower. Oh my god. Hold on. Up this way. No, no, no. What are you doing? Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. Climb, climb, climb. Oof. Not lose more than three sync points. Well, yeah, that happened. <laughs> Altair, barely 26 and already a grandmaster in command of a divided order. How does one cope with such responsibility and unlimited power? The most badass man of them all. That is cool. Only 26 years old. Nothing but a kid. The prince. That was cool. I've made the acquaintance of an Ottoman prince named Suleiman. He's a clever young man with a fortitude uncommon for his age. On his suggestion, I will be investigating some wayward Janissaries who may be in league with the Templars. 
With luck, they will lead me straight to the core of the Templar's leadership. Meanwhile, the Venetian Sophia Sartor continues to help me find the hidden Maziav keys. She is a diligent woman, full of passion and vigor. And I enjoy her company immensely. Oh. But I dare not tell her the purpose of my stay here, nor of my true vocation. Those who do not volunteer in our struggle should not be forced to fight it. New items unlocked the blacksmith. What do we got here? You see this rack? Incredible quality. Your feet will love you more than your wife does. <laughs> I am not married. Ah, you are better off. Come, feel it. You have sold well today. I have not sold a thing. The Janissaries confiscated most of my rugs just because they were in Fortes. Do you know Tariq Barletti, their captain? Uh, he's around here somewhere, an arrogant man, but... Uh, you insult me, sir! I cannot take less than 200 action for this! My final offer! <laughs> when I find him, I will ask about the rugs. You drive a hard bargain, Yabanche. Shall we compromise at 180? 180 octa, and we part as friends. Ezio and Solomon suspect that the Janitor Captain Tariq Barletti is involved in the Templars. Find and tell him to learn more. Alright, well, before I do that, I will take this from taking Cherry Bomb. We'll dismantle your current diversion bomb bombs. Return the. No. That's fine. Many have died at heretic assassin hands. Okay, so see if this guy's a traitor. Is it here? Remain invisible, your enemies. You can either sit in benches or enter a crowd of groups. Like this? Oh no. One of the missions we finished this game was a ton. Make sure nobody's following us. I think we're good. Come on, turn around, turn around. There's nothing to see here, man. What are you doing? It's like everybody here is so... <laughs> so jittery about everything. Oh! Oh, oh, who's going to turn around? So, oh! So nervous. Of all Mehmet's accomplishments, I'm beginning to think this bazaar was the finest. If you have no business here, you do not belong. Lead the way! No loitering! I don't know if I should stick to the rooftops or like the wooden studs up top. Probably shouldn't. Should probably just stick to the crowds. Oh, 
train to the Janissary. This is an important meeting. Make sure I am not being followed. Hmm. I think he knows, dude. Perfect. Sometimes you gotta invest some money to complete these missions. I could also go up there on top of that building. see where he's headed come on girls let's do this I didn't spend spend this good money for no reason you know what screw it it was good while it lasted Assassinate, assassinate him so easily right here. Little does he know he's being tracked by a professional, trained assassin, and he can die in any given moment. But I will have mercy on his soul. You there? I will be back tomorrow. And if you have not disposed of all this foreign-made garbage, I will confiscate it myself and throw it into the phosphorus. Lead the way. Oh my god. <gasps> I almost got spotted, dude. Alright, we've got to be careful here. There's a lot of guards up in this area. There's a guard there already. Alright, hold on. Mm. Shit. Broad strength to the Janissaries. Coming across the bridge here. <laughs> Come on, dude. Where's this guy going? Is he going in there? Oh my god. <laughs> dude, will you walk already, man? What news? Manuel has agreed to meet you, Tarek. He's waiting by the arsenal gate. <laughs> An eager old weasel, isn't he? Come. Were you able to salvage something from the foundry before they ransacked it? Distract two guards with bombs. Oh man, I always forget to read the synchronization optional objectives during a mission. Always forget. It's just, I need to work on that. I mean, it's not a big deal. I just play these missions to play the missions and beat them the way they're meant to be beat and have fun, of course, most importantly. Sometimes it feels pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It feels pretty good, uh, you know, completing them 100%. It also feels pretty good calling your assassin and having him kill a little scumbag. the amount I but the money stays with me until I have seen the cargo for myself and the say that's quality understood you are a shrewd man Manuel. 
Trust without cynicism is hollow. The count is good, Tarek. It's all here. So, what now? You will have access to the arsenal. When you are satisfied, the cargo will be delivered to a location of your choosing. Are your men prepared to travel? Not a problem. Polikala, I will have a map drawn up for you within a week. Hmm. Are we here for the same reason? One of my men claims he saw a shipment of weapons enter the arsenal. So I got curious. Weapons? I would like to see them for myself. Short of killing everyone, I'm not sure how you will get inside. You have been warned twice. No merchants near the arsenal wall. Take this away. Hypocrites! If your men did not buy my produce, I would not sell it here. You are worse than the Byzantines, you traitor! Ah! Hold your tongue, parasite! Even in times of peace, the poor are always under siege. If we inspire them to vent their anger, perhaps that will help our cause. I think I sent a man named Manuel into the arsenal and set a ride to distract the guards, gain access. Feigning solidarity to push your own agenda. Good agenda, No? It is not pretty, I know. But it will work. <laughs> This is funny. Thankfully, we got some cash. The Janissaries are corrupted, good people of Constantinople. They have surrendered their royal leader. They go into the clear citizens. None of these concerned citizens of Istanbul. The Janissaries. Oh my god, what the heck? That gate will not stay closed for long. The people are doing you a favor, Ezio. Return it and keep them safe from harm. Oh crap! Oh my god. Holy shit. Come on. Yo, these guys don't die? What the hell is this? Nice. I'm gonna have to assassinate them. Yeah, these guys are not dying. The only way that I can assassinate them is by countering. I don't want to call my assassins that they're gonna get killed by these people. More? Fucking hell. Oh shit. Alright, great. Those guards are pretty hard to kill. We got a lot of health. And some good weapons and dodging skills. I guess they don't do well against throwing knives. Alright, you know what? Let's get some bombs out. Fuck it.
Oh, damn it, that missed. Yeah, make sure 40 or more riders survive. Are you fucking crazy? What do you think this is? <laughs> Have you not seen how many are here? This guy, honestly, the riot has destroyed the arsenal. Giants discover the purpose of Manuel's visit. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up killing him. Look at this riot, though. They burn. Oh my god. Thankfully, they're busy with the other guys, so we can sneak up in here. All right, so I'm going to get caught here. Oh, my God. Really, dude? Really? Did you really just miss that jump? You're taking too long, bro. Come on. Come on, assholes. It's time. Oh, man. These guys are fucking annoying. Oh my god. No, don't throw money, stupid. <laughs> okay, just leave. <laughs> oh my god, what a mess. What a freaking mess, dude. Take this guy out. Twenty years in the city living like a cipher. Finally, everything is falling into place. When the Baleo Logos line is restored, Manuel, do not forget who helped you bring it back. Of course not, my friend. I would not dream of betraying a man of your influence, but you must be patient. Nova Roma wasn't built in a day. <laughs> I'm satisfied. Take me to my ship. If a single one is damaged, the money stays with me. These guys are so annoying to kill. I will disarm them. Come on. 
Come on. No. Give me your freaking weapon, dude. All right, maybe let's try a different tactic. God, these guys are annoying. There we go. I guess with these guys dodging is just going to be overall better. I forgot about that. When you, uh... When you have uh, these guards that actually counter back and do all sorts of stupid crap, it's best to just uh, to just dodge and then attack. All right, there's too many of you guys. Oh my goodness, this is a fucking nightmare. Thankfully, these guys don't know how to swim. They're natural born killers, but know not how to swim. That was just too cool not to do it. <laughs> All right, can we get the hell out of here already? Seriously, we need, we need to escape out of here. Oh my God, these guys run fast. find myself a place to hide nice perform an air assassination from a zipline oh wow I didn't even know that was a thing all right we're gonna do one more mission here we're gonna head to that little book and then we'll call it we'll call it there Salute. I am closing in on two more books. One near Topkapa and the other in the Bayzid district. Bayzid first. Topkapa will be a dead end. Ah, see. Si. What do you make of this? Oh, Hezio. Incredibile. Early Coptic bindings. Still in good shape. Amazing. This must be a third century transcription of the original. Sophia, what happened here? Oh, that happens once or twice a year. People break in thinking they will find money. I do not keep much here, but this time they made off with a portrait of some value. It is a shame. You keep working. I will find your painting. Ezio, the thief could be anywhere by now. <laughs> if the thief came for money, but took a painting, he should be close by, eager to get rid of it. Well, if you happen to find it within the next few hours, meet me by the aqueduct. I will be running errands. Oh, we're about to bully this man. Found our girlfriend's paintings. Yeah, let's get this. You ain't gotta tell me twice. I like her a lot, man. She's a good match. She's cool people. Mess this guy up. I don't think Sophia knows who we are. Truly. This guy's probably got to be here in the market trying to sell this crap. Where is it, Ladro? Confess. I have done nothing. 
Do not care how you got the painting. Just tell me where it is. I sold it to a merchant in the bazaar. How else will I feed myself? Next time, find a nicer way to be a canalia. Okay, so now we're gonna head over here to retrieve the painting. See, this is these are the types of friends you need around in your life, man. Friends like Ezio. Somebody steals your house, you call him up. And he'll take care of business. Now oh, we gotta go down below. Oh my god, it's right here. I have a painting for sale, if you are curious. A luminous portrait. You see how lifelike she looks and oh. she shines through. Did I really buy the painting? Oh my god! Oh, dude, I just went up to him and pressed B. I thought we were gonna talk and interrogate him or something. I just freaking bought the painting 950 bucks. Or whatever the currency is here. Sophia, I'm sorry, but you gotta give me that 950. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't cheap. You know how hard I would work for that? I'm 50 plus. God damn. Turned out to be a little expensive, girl. It is a good likeness, don't you think? Uh -uh. I prefer the original. <laughs> Buffone. This was a gift from my father for my 28th birthday. Jesus Christ. I had to sit for Messer Albrecht Durer for a full week. Can you imagine me sitting still for seven days doing nothing? I cannot. Una tortura. <laughs> so, I found you another book location. And it is not far from here, actually. Grazie. Ezio, what is this all about? You are not a scholar that much. <laughs> Do you work for the church? <laughs> not the church, no. But I am a teacher, of a kind. I will explain one day, Sophia, when I can. <laughs> 